Hello, Wealth Lab 8 users, Glitch here, coming to you from sunny Runkel, Germany, where I'm visiting Volker's place for a little while. Uh, and I wanted to record a video about a Bitcoin system that I found on YouTube on the Figuring Out Money channel by Michael Silva. This is his sailor to shift ratio, and the link to his video will be below. Uh, but Michael claims that this uh, strategy can predict crashes and rallies in Bitcoin. So does it work? Let's write it in Wealth Lab and backtest it and see how this strategy holds up. So here we go. Here are the rules. We first need to create a ratio of Bitcoin to gold. So we need to divide the price of Bitcoin by the price of gold in a uh, Michael's video, he's using a continuous gold contract. I'm using the GLD ETF, gold ETF. In practice, I found that this results in identical signals. Uh, so once you have that ratio, you create a four-week rate of change of that ratio. And then all the signals are based on the movement of that rate of change. So let's take a look here at the code so we are first getting the price of Bitcoin, which is the symbol that we are using in the back test. We are then getting the price of gold using symbol GLD and using the get history method. We are creating the ratio by dividing the closing price of the Bitcoin series with the closing price of the gold series. Then we are creating the rate of change of that ratio. Uh, in a period of four, since we are running the back test on weekly data, that is four weeks. So there is the creation of the indicator and the plotting of the indicator. Once you have that rate of change, you can go to the entry rules, look for that rate of change to cross above zero. When it does, place a buy stop uh, above that weekly candle high. If the price action does not reach that entry point before the ROC crosses back down through zero, the buy signal is deactivated. So there's your buy entry. Uh, for the sell, once you're in a position, look for that rate of change to cross below zero. Once it does, you place a, a stop order below the low of that weekly candle. And if price action does not hit that stop, you keep uh, increasing that stop if the price is keeps going up, you basically turn that into a trailing stop. So we have that, have that all coded up here in Wealth Lab, and let's give it a run. Uh, a run. Let's say we're starting with $5,000 starting capital, 100% of equity per position, and we are going to run it on, let's say, the most recent 10 years. So here we click Run Back Test and let this go. So let's take a look at the bottom line and see what we have here. Uh, the benchmark, which is based on Bitcoin on its own. So the benchmark is saying that if, if we would have bought Bitcoin and just held on to it for the entire backtest period, we would have earned 73% annualized with the 1.2 million profit. The strategy, however, return 94% annualized with a 3.8% profit. So significantly better. And since this strategy outperforms Bitcoin buy and hold, I think that's pretty remarkable. Uh, let's take a look at the equity curve. Here we go. We can see the strategy's equity and Bitcoin's equity. Uh, Bitcoin with the severe drawdowns, the strategy has managed to limit the drawdown uh, that you would have experienced if you would have just bought and held Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the drawdown curve. You could see the strategy's red drawdown curve compared to Bitcoin's white curve, uh, substantially less. So great job with the sailor to shift ratio strategy. It looks good. Let's take a look at the most recent trade it happened right here uh, on March 2023. So here we can see that the four-week rate of change 
uh, crossed back above zero right here on this bar where this vertical line is and our buy stop was initiated and our buy stop was hit right here. So here was our entry and here the rate of change crossed back below zero initiating our sell stop which was hit here resulting in a 20% gain in just about a month. So from March to April of 2023, the sailor to shift ratio uh, initiated its latest trade, which was a 20% gain. Great job. So there we go. The sailor to shift ratio encoded into Wealth Lab, uh, but can we make it even better? Uh, maybe we can get Michael to check out this little hack that we did to his strategy. I'm going to go into the code and I'm going to uncomment this line right here that I added and run the strategy again. And notice that now our profit went up to 100% annualized with 5.1 million return. Wow. Quite a boost from one line of code uncommented out. What did I do? I'll show you. Uh, so let's scroll back and find one of our entries that happened to take a few bars of data to enter. Like, look at this one, for example. So see this uh, blue dot right here? One, two, three. Rather than keeping the buy level constant uh, at this price right here, bar after bar, uh, I simply change this to a kind of a trailing buy stop. So it's as the, the price of the market contracts, the buy stop itself is lowering and lowering. And this allowed us to get in at a lower price than uh, the original strategy would have. So this simple change al allowed us to squeeze quite a bit more out of the strategy. So uh, there's a hack to improve the sailor to shift ratio. And I think that about wraps it up. Uh, how can you get your hands on the strategy yourself? Uh, download Wealth Lab 8, uh, then go to strategies here. Just click this little strategies button to open up your strategies list. Scroll down to the bottom where you'll find a YouTube strategies folder with the sailor shift strategy contained therein. We will put all of our strategies that we find and review from YouTube here into this YouTube strategies folder. So you can always check there for our latest YouTube related strategy content. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope to see you soon on the forums and in future videos. Thanks a lot.